Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. I'm your host, Mr. Modern Toy Fair, and I am joined by the one, the only, the founder of the NECA Illuminati, the, my YouTube wife, Mrs. Modern Toy Fair, Jamar underscore games. How are you this week, Jamar? I'm doing great. I'm quite impressed that you remember that all that's off the top of your head. Yeah, All man. those titles. It, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lot, but for the most part, I'll, I'll stumble across it just because that's how my, my brain to mouth connection works is it's always <laughs> a few second delay and, and things don't come out right. But beyond that, I, I've got it down until I add another one to it and then, uh, then it becomes a mess all over again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Just uh, like speaking of messes. Yeah, speaking of messes, welcome to Modern Toy Fair News. <laughs> uh, if you are new to the show, the way it works is we break down the weekly toy news that we have deemed worthy of the next hour of your life, and we go over our weekly purchases for now and send you on your merry way. So let's go ahead and get started the same way we do every week, and that is with McFarlane. First, we are getting the first in-hand look via some pictures floating around on the good old social medias. At the upcoming DC Multiverse Zack Snyder's Justice League 10-inch Steppenwolf. You can see how he scales with some of the build of figures in these pictures and just some of the details of him. He is currently still available on Entertainment Earth, shipping in June. Link will be in the description below. And then after some Amazon orders getting randomly unannounced chase figures, McFarlane officially announced the Warhammer 40k Adeptus Ritus Platinum Edition figure. Uh, this is a chase version of the regular one, so it seems the only way currently to get this is pretty much luck of the draw. Uh, you, I don't know if these are going to start showing up in, sh in uh, stores or if it's solely through Amazon. They haven't really made that clear, so we'll just have to stay tuned for that. And then for more DC Multiverse news, we are getting some more announcements via random listings overseas with uh, retailers. So there are the gold label NYCC Batman Year 2, White Knight Batman as Bat 2 pack, and Batman Who Laughs with Robins of Earth 22. And that's not all. So we also have some for The Witcher. We are getting an Ice Giant Mega Figure, a Bloodied Ice Giant, or, and a Bloodied Ice Giant Mega Figure variant. And then for My Hero Academia, uh, we are getting 5-inch Shoto Tordoroki, assuming that's right, uh, Stain at 5 inches, 5-inch five Tenya Lida, or Lida, 7-inch Endeavor, 7-inch Mirori, oh, and 7-inch All Might versus All for One 2-pack. So, no, nothing official from McFarlane on that route. However, as usual with those overseas listings, they almost always come true. I don't think we've had a single right. one that hasn't popped up somewhere. Um, so, just kind of keep keep an eye out for the news on that one. But I, I'm, I'm just going to say, like... Restarting. It, it's, it's still just not a lot for... Like, nothing directly from Todd. It's so weird. Yeah, that's true. Like, <laughs> you would think, like, some of these things, especially, like, the Steppenwolf would have been, like, maybe shown off by him in hand yeah. before, which is, it's kind of kind of weird. But, I mean, at this point, are we surprised? Like, this is sort of, like, well, I guess kind of it is a little bit weird because Todd is normally doing his, like, weekly slash daily slash whenever he wants, like, videos of, like, hey, look what I have. But now it's, kind of not that it's just amazon being like hey this is what we got and yeah. then people in other countries like let's show it off for him yeah like there, there's it seems like there's no fanfare from him he like you said he always had his weekly or whenever the hell he felt like it live yeah. streams on instagram where he'd show off something and then there'd be a bunch of other shit in the background that he just happened to forget was in frame um and, and now it's just like if it's not an overseas listing it's someone randomly getting it in shipments that they shouldn't have right um <laughs> Like the fact that someone already has their hands on on Steppenwolf is impressive, considering he's not supposed to release for another month. That's insane. It's and, and that's incredible to me because I haven't gotten any of the Zack Snyder figures <laughs> yet. Oh god, it begins. He's frozen. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 I can hear Are you we now. Alive? I can. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you there go. You now go. you're moving. 
<laughs> you froze in a very, very funny face. And if I oh. could remember the screenshot button, I would have done it quick enough. But oh, I was weird. gonna Google it, then you came back. <laughs> <laughs> weird thing is, it was the opposite on my end. On my end, you're the one who froze. Uh, <laughs> maybe that was a a time jump or something. Oh yeah, I don't oh, know. Man. Time skip that. It's butterfly effect, right? Something bad happened. Uh. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> like what a, i guess i don't know what if you call it but i was just saying it's funny because i still haven't received or like gotten my hands on any any of the zack snyder figures i haven't even seen them I'm, I'm assuming they're not even out yet right no they're not not until june okay so how is this before when this that's kind of crazy but all the other ones have already been like shown off and stuff it's that's kind of mind-boggling but yeah i mean i'm i am excited the fact that like I, I knew it was 10 inches in my head, but with just how this line scales with itself, I've been terrified. But seeing how he towers over, like, a Build-A-Figure that they've yeah. done makes me so happy. And it also makes me wish they'd redo some things in the, the 10-inch Mega form. Oh. Um, <laughs> when I when I, I did kind of cheat a little bit and I always kind of skim through some of the articles, I saw Build-A-Figure and then Stephen Wolf, and I was like, oh, fuck. But then I was like, wait, they already showed it off. So yeah, they already showed it off. Figure. So, but yeah, I'm like, that's pretty cool to have him in the 10-inch. And that's definitely, like, a personal buy just because the redo of the suit and everything. Oh, yeah, it, it looks so good. And they did it such a fantastic yeah. job with the figure just from these pictures. Like, Yeah, which is a cool thing to see, like, in hand. This is the actual figure that you're going to get versus, like, a press photo or – yeah, you know, or a super stuff. grainy shot that right. leaked out and they just never gave us a better one. Or it's sitting like on the shelf right here because I already have it. Oh, I'm joking. That would be a <laughs> hell of a twist there. <laughs> but yeah, obviously we don't really, we always cover the Warhammer stuff and it's sort of like, a, I don't know. Yeah. This is kind of weird that it's a chase variant. I'm sure this has happened with other lines before, but a chase variant on Amazon, that kind of sucks. Because well, no, like... no, no. So it's not like exclusive to Amazon. Uh, okay, it's like okay. it's like a chase, like how Funko has the chases, where it's like one yeah. in however many chance of getting oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's just so far the only ones that have been found were via Amazon. Amazon. Um, okay. Like there hasn't been any cases of them being found in stores. So I don't okay. know if that's a case where it's only going to be available to the online retailers because it's also Platinum Edition, which also hasn't been clarified what the fuck that is. All right, that makes that's better. I guess that kind of makes it better if it's in-store retailers as well. Mm -hmm. um, online just seems like a, a really poor way to have like, okay, I guess I'll click and buy 12 of them and see what happens if I really want it. I mean, the good like, thing is Amazon will let you return the other 11. <laughs> That's true. That is true. That's true. And it might even let you keep them all. <laughs> true. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, it's I, crap I guess that, does, that probably does make it better and um, also less shameful. So you're not buying a case at like Target to try and find them or something like that, and then yeah, I have to return these because these aren't the ones I wanted. But then again, you would see them, so you wouldn't. You buy said them. they'd, they'd be in know. store. You'd, they'd be on the shelves. You'd be digging yeah. through them. I um, just can't tell if I'm happy with this or angry at this. I don't know I, what to feel. Like. I feel like if there's any retailer I'd, I'd rather the chase go through would be Amazon, just cause mm -hmm. I, I, just cause there's there's less shenanigans in play. Because you don't have to worry about there being a collector that works at Target who's like, ooh, and gets it there first. That's fair. I mean, most of the Amazon employees are too busy pissing in bottles. They don't have time to collect anything. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about them stealing the figures from you. Um, and, and also, the as terrible as it sounds, the idea of, like, you can just kind of wash, rinse, repeat, try, and realistically they'll just let you return it and ship it back. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I imagine at a certain point they'll be like, listen, you're abusing yeah. this. Fuck off. Um, but I don't, I've only seen one case where someone like had their account like blocked from from their prime like right. shipping and shopping, and that was because he was a complete jackass to the customer service person. So, Fair. so don't be a jackass. Yeah, order as many as you possibly can and afford, and then return all the other ones if you don't get the chase variant. Yeah, and, and Amazon lets you put little notes in there, so you'd be like, "Hey, Mister Worker, please, if you could find the the fancy one for me, and maybe How they'll are be." They notes while they're pissing in a bottle have you ever oh, tried reading it. and peeing at the same time i mean and holding a bottle pretty tough true i assume that <laughs> i assume that you know I, i've pissed the in a bottle and yeah but i was also driving when i was pissing in the bottle so <laughs> i guess that's also i feel like that's a little harder to do um, and that's on the internet to be forever <laughs> out there <laughs> i, I assume feel, it was your trip from ohio to uh, <laughs> there was there was two occasions. One was that, and one was also when I uh, 
I was dry. I was driving home from work one day and I was like, I can make it. It's like a 20 minute drive. And I literally got to a point where I'm like, I'm going to fucking piss myself. And my options were to pull over on the side of the road and f- try to find somewhere on the side of the road to piss. Or <laughs> I had this big old like liter bottle sitting next to me that was recently empty. And I filled that motherfucker. I, I was in fear of my life that I was going to, it was going to overflow. <laughs> there was going to be piss everywhere. It was, oh, it was a terrifying God. time. <laughs> I need like an amateur reenactment reenactment of that session. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll get Nate on that. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, outside of the piss bottles, I mean, I do want to at least kind of say there's a little bit of excitement to see like the Endeavor uh, figure, and it's kind of cool to have like a All Might and Off One two pack together. Mm-hmm. Generally, I mean, you can get both of them separate, but kind of still neat. Yeah. I'm not really into the five inch figures just because I already bought the seven inch figures. Yeah, that's so that's why I think it's like more, they're still doing the two different them. lines. It makes no sense yeah. to me. <laughs> I have to kind of go with both. But I guess if you were waiting for these two, but it, it's interesting to see like the cadence that they're doing because the Todoroki and Stain are both in the seven inch. So are they just like, cool, we'll make them in seven inch, wait a few. I mean, I feel like those have been out for easily a, a year maybe is how long i've seen them and now they're like all right we'll shrink them down to the five inch and then we'll do two new seven inches you know yeah kind of cool but it, it i mean if it works for them great i i've yeah. I, i've seen the five inch ones at walmart they're not bad looking but yeah yeah it's just one of those things like if you have the option between that and the seven inch why the fuck would you just not take the seven inch that's fair maybe you should buy a five inch deku to go with your seven inch all might because then they'll they'll scale properly they'll scale properly because it's so weird to do the same height it doesn't make any sense but whatever i didn't spend a hundred dollars on each one so <laughs> oof that's cool i mean the alternate option is uh the super fancy one not sh uh mafex is it mafex i thought it was mafex maybe or maybe not. i'm thinking figma it's, it's I mean, there, there was probably. one recently that went back up for pre-order that I sent you, and you're like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it was probably <laughs> Mafex. So, um, but yeah. Yeah. Are I, you, mm-hmm. I, I'm just, I always go with you as the resident DC super fan. Are you interested into like the Go Label Batman? Um, and all I, this or I'm just this? trying to think of what the fuck year two is. Okay, yeah, because I'm like, huh? <laughs> because they they've done like year one was when Frank Miller did a run with Batman, um, mm-hmm. where like he did like a I think it was a four book series called Year One, and it was supposed to be like you know him and his starting stages, oh. and they even did like a, a really good DC animated um, adaptation of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and in Z and I think it was Year Zero or Zero Year was Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder did a run, and it was like like riddler took over the city and like the the city like it was abandoned and there was like trees and shit started growing everywhere and batman was sleeveless and riding a motorbike i don't fucking know it was real weird i i didn't get super into it um at the time but i just i don't i off my top of my head i can't recall a year two batman and yeah. unfortunately i didn't think to google it prior to this um yeah I normally like to see pictures, but it's okay. Well, they there are no pictures. These figures don't exist yet. I could drew them. Oh yeah, just doodle them <laughs> up for you. Um, I think if anything, out of the like leaked listing stuff, I'm kind of excited for like the to see what the ice giant looks like. Uh, yeah, that, I'm trying to like imagine this in my head, and I don't remember. Nice all, all i can think of are from lord of the rings the giants the like the fucking bald and like gray <laughs> ugly ass giants yeah. from that and i'm just like hopefully it looks cooler than that and I'm like nothing else the bloodied version will yeah that's interesting have we already gotten any because i get very small attention span to like mcfarland's a massive amount of lines of like we'll just do anything like since it's but um, they did The Witcher, obviously, like, the we had the Gerald, and we have different var- var- variations of that. Did they do any of, like, like villains? or? You um, know, they like, did, oh, fuck, what's it called? The, any... the dude oh, who looks like a ring wraith with the helmet, yeah. and he's all, like, got a crown and shit. Okay, that's right, that's he right. Was, he, was, to... he was the first one that was paired with uh I'm with thinking, like, creatures, like, the weird, 
I don't know if you remember The Witcher 3, but they had like the weird ladies that were like witches, but they're like, I'm going to quit with the description, but they're like, you know, like they. Are you about to say big titty witches? Is that what no, you're trying to say? I mean, I don't know. I can't judge the size of them. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Like the comparison between other witch movies and stuff. So, like, but they were, they, they, they looked really weird, and they were like swamp things or whatever. And that's what I would imagine. That'd be kind of cool to see those because they were really freaky looking. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's why I was thinking creatures wise. Was you. there any other creatures that were in this? The only line things we've gotten were that really one it. One thing, a couple uh, Geralds, and then we're getting uh, Siri. Yeah. But I don't think they've really announced any others. I mean, the only villain I remember from the game is the staircases. Um, I was like, what are you talking about? (laughs) Because when the game first came out, it was so broken. If you fell three feet down the stairs, you died. So I, I, it's the only thing I ever remember from the game uh, for my brief stint with it. Um, (laughs) You didn't get to the uh, fetuses. No, I did not. I did not get that far. That was, uh, um, yeah, that's an interesting thing. So, yeah, <laughs> looking forward to those. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for a staircase uh, set. That's going to be a great two-pack <laughs> later. Um, and, and as far as the two-packs go, I the White Knight Batman and Asbat two-pack kind of it feels, I don't know, like I, I get you need to get some reuse out of these sculpts yeah. so you can make some money. But I feel like this isn't the way because both those figures have had single releases with variations right. of them. So unless they do something drastic to like change them color wise, it just feels like it's it's not a little flat. Yeah, it feels kind of like, oh, that was a waste. I'm excited to see the Batman Who Laughs with the Robins. I hope we get a new version of the Batman Who Laughs because both the ones they've made have been dog shit. Uh, um, but the the like crow Robins are fucking badass. So it'd be kind of cool to to get like a four pack with that. Yeah. The only if they improve it. Well, and of course these are we have no clue when this is coming because it um, wasn't officially announced. Yeah, so. I think if I remember correctly it mentioned something about later this year, but it didn't oh, have like any like sense. dates or anything listed. Uh especially considering like obviously McFarland doesn't say anything, so this is hundred percent just what the overseas yeah. retailers are putting up as their like pre orders in advance. Uh, which is that. which is always funny to me because, you know, there's so many of these companies where overseas and even in Canada, mm-hmm. people struggle to be able to get these like figures from different lines that are um, supposedly so much easier in the States. Yeah. But then like McFarlane, like they get pre-orders over there months before we even hear about the figure. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's a wild thing. The toy industry <laughs> <laughs> moving yeah. on though, Mezco announced pre-orders for the, what is now exclusive Gotham by Gaslight Batman. And he includes interchangeable hands, swappable heads, goggles, knives, batterings, a wired cape, grappling hook, glider with hinged wings, and a display stand. Batman is $115 listed to ship in January of next year, but the story doesn't end there. They also put up pre-orders for the Victorian Vigilante accessory set which includes goggles with red lenses instead of the green ones that come with the figure, lantern, shackles, a handgun with removable barrel, a shotgun, three stick grenades, a bandolier, and two grappling hook firing effects. This set is $20 listed to ship in January as well of next year. In addition to all this, though, there's even more of a twist. Both are still up for pre-order and Mezco announced that they will be available until 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday the 14th, which, if you're watching this, chances are they've already gone away, but it depends how early you watch the show. Um, I I kind of dig this, because yeah. it's, it's a great way to make it so if someone just... Ooh, calm down there. Uh, someone just wants the figure, and they don't want to have to spend, like, $150... Or $130 or whatever, the extra beef to get all the extra accessories. They don't have to. But then if you have people like me who are like, man, I wish I could just get, you just drown me with accessories. I don't want to, I want to be buried in them. Oh. Um, and you gives me this like cheap extra additional pack I can get. Mm-hmm. And and I kind of dig it. Because as much as I love the fact that Wolverine was stacked, he was also like 150 bucks, which is, it hurts. Um so like if it was a situation where I didn't like I liked the figure but the accessories pack wasn't didn't have anything I was like felt was necessary, 
that yeah. I, I have that option out, you know? Yeah, I, this is honestly a really cool idea, especially for my fix because, or not for my fix, for Mesco, just because my introduction to Mesco is all from you. Mm -hmm. And it seems like the accessories play an important part in the figures because these are can easily be interchangeable and be like customized and stuff. So you have that crowd, but then also maybe someone like me who might be wanting to stick dip their toe in some Mesco. I don't necessarily need all the accessories. I kind of want just like the figure. Mm -hmm. It gives you that that middle ground. So you're not like, oh, I'll have to buy this and then try and make your money back selling the accessories separate or something like that. So that's actually a really good idea. Will they do that for everything? I mean, I'd imagine the... that's got to be ex kind of expensive in a sense of like, like not packaging everything together, doing it separately and stuff. Well, usually these expansion packs don't get like special packaging. Um, so mm -hmm. they've, they've done a couple accessory packs in the past. They did one for their Doc Nocturnal character, where it was specific mm -hmm. to him, had specific like actual like special like t pieces that were meant for him. Um, it was only fifteen dollars, and it did have like a box with some art on it, but it was just a cardboard box with a plastic tray. It wasn't anything crazy. Mm -hmm. The other two sets they've done were just generic. Like they had a Baker's Dozen gun set that mm -hmm. was just a bunch of unpainted guns. And then they also had a ninja set, which was a bunch of unpainted ninja weapons for the most part. I think they had a little bit of silver on some of the blades, but that was about it. Mm. Well, those just came in a plastic tray wrapped in a plastic bag so that way they wouldn't fall out. Um, Makes, so you're just like, here you go. Yeah, so it, it, they don't really spend a lot of money. It's not, It doesn't have the presentation of the actual mm -hmm. figures. Um, so like if you're an inbox collector, it doesn't do anything for you kind of thing. Right. Um, so I, I think it kind of works out because they're gonna, that plastic tray would have been there either way. It just would have meant they had to make the box big enough to fit that in there. So I think it probably levels it out a little bit and also helps curb their cost because I think when it's with the figure, it costs them more overall versus doing it separately. It might be a little cheaper. Right. I mean, that's a, a sound reasoning. That's what I would like to believe. Yeah. But that would be kind of a neat way to be like hey we can get these down to be like right at 100 bucks or and then 89 90 you know like in that yeah. price range if we start pulling out some of the extra accessories because that's one although that's kind of like your signature i feel like at this point too outside of like the soft goods mm -hmm. is just giving you a shit ton of accessories oh yeah so, i mean depending on the figure you, you there's some of them are fucking stacked yeah it's wild because some of the ones that are fucking stacked are usually cheaper than the ones that aren't <laughs> that uh, honestly sense. the only reason why this batman i think is over a hundred dollars is because of that glider because if you look yeah, at the detail oh, yeah, that on that sense. thing yeah, it is incredible crazy. between the fact that the outside textures look leather and the on the like harness and the inside looks like it's wool and yeah. then the actual like wings themselves look like they have pleather like cape parts in between them so like when you expand it it's not just cheap plastic flopping around um so like i feel like that's probably what drove that price up um which makes sense to why they had to include or do the, the accessories separate. separate because that was already <laughs> getting so pricey yeah um, which i i would even like them to see a step further and just say hey we got the figure here we got this pack with the glider and then we got the extra accessory separate. And then if you want all three together, you can do that. Like give you more piece. By yeah. Piece option. Yeah. But but do, the, all the cart option actually yeah. does feel better overall. Like some people would be like, Oh, well that's stupid. Why can't I just get it with the figure already? I'm like, well, because you're paying more. So if you don't want to pay more, you don't have to like right. by the end of it, you're still paying the same amount because if you bundle them together, you're not going to pay more in shipping. Right. Then you would have normally. together. Um, I guess it inventory wise is probably why like offering a lot of different SKUs for something mm -hmm. just makes it harder because now they have to make sure they have this and make sure they have that. So I, I kind of can get it, but yeah, if anything, it's probably cool. logistically a nightmare for like the shipping process oh, yeah. at the end, because you have to make sure that people who didn't order it don't get the accessory pack versus people who did and all that. Yeah. Um, which speaking of, of like the process and everything, we're ignoring one of the best parts about this is the fact that they made it oh. a f almost a 48 hour window for pre-order yeah, for an exclusive, cool. which is rare for them. Cause usually their exclusives sell out in like maybe 15 minutes at max. Like they usually wow. don't last long. Um, so the fact that they basically just were like, this is going to be like a normal release. It's going to be made to order. 
you have till this time, get your pre-orders in. It's a, it's limited to four per person. So it's not like you can only get one or anything. So you can get more if you want to have some for trade bait or customs, or if you're an asshole scalper and you're going to attempt to make some money off this, but then not make any money. Cause there's so many of them on eBay already that you just made like $10 over what you spent that you have to give it all to eBay anyway. Um, it always cracks me up because that happens so much with Mesco with the exclusives. <laughs> um, so many of them end up being like ten dollars above what retail was, and it's like, man, you're you're literally paying eBay money at this point yeah. to, to get rid of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the fact that they're doing that is is great. Hopefully, that's a sign that non Gomez stuff that's exclusive mm-hmm. is a little easier to get going forward in the future. Because the Mesco stuff, I feel like that has to be limited because there comes well, a point where it's it's not a popular enough thing that it, it can sustain itself if it's yeah flooded. and it's to sell off of the hype alone mm-hmm. versus being like oh yeah you can buy as many as you want it kind of would die that down a little bit yeah like as much versus- as I'd, I'd love for those to be you know mass made so everyone can have them they still do try to do like do secondary pre-orders that come out at a later date that they have mm-hmm. like more allocated and stuff but for the most part like it's it's a one and done situation which i feel like those benefit from yeah. Um, whereas I hope that more stuff like this with like Batman and Marvel characters, X Men, that kind of stuff, like get a little more, more to them versus just being like, oh, well, you you weren't there five minutes before the release window, so you don't get one kind There's of thing. That. Yeah, because that, that's also fair with like we're just kind of saying one of the same thing, but it is it's it makes more sense with like licensed properties if you will to have that morally more available mm-hmm. just because it may be people who aren't necessarily into mesco that want to just get this you know versus the super fans that are watching you know the mesco exclusive like the gomez exclusive so yeah because if, if you're someone who's just like gotham by gaslight's my favorite batman book and you saw this previewed but you never you didn't you don't follow mesco enough to know to like watch for them to announce hey it's gonna be going up tomorrow or anything and then you miss out on it and you're fucked and you have to pay three hundred dollars on eBay. Right. Like it's 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 yeah, it's definitely a, a much more. better alternative. I dig it. I dig uh, it. But it's funny because I didn't realize it was Friday the fourteenth tomorrow. Right. It's interesting. Well such a today. Thing. Well, yeah. today <laughs> for you. Uh, <laughs> but speaking of companies that should probably learn from Mezco, uh, in NECA news, we finally got packaging images of the Friday the thirteenth part seven, Jason Voorhees. Jason is available for pre-order on Entertainment Earth for $32.99 shipping this month. Link will be in the description below. NECA also announced that this summer, for a limited time at Target before releasing everywhere else, there will be a new King Kong figure with new head sculpts, one with a hinged jaw, and a new tree branch, pit monster, and pterodon creature accessory. No word on price point yet, but they're expected to start hitting targets in June. So a month or two ago, I remember we saw, we got teased with these creatures and we thought it was going to be like a separate pack for King Kong, but it seems now we're just getting a new King Kong that's beefier, has more stuff with it. Yeah. Updated head sculpt that where you can move (laughs) his mouth open and close. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I get it. They need to make their money off the sculpt. There's not a whole lot they yeah. can do. Um, the the head with the mouth, like, the movable mouth literally just looks like the head we already got. So I'm like, eh. <laughs> and I'm already not yeah. a huge fan of the body on this figure. So so more of it just kind of... Yeah, like, there's a lot of kind of working uphill against it. Mm-hmm. Personally, I don't think I remember... I guess I, I mean, I do recall us talking about like the figures, right? Mm-hmm. And then I do recall at one point seeing the figure, but these shots make this thing look really awful and ugly to me. I don't know why, but so yeah, I mean, I get it. It's you know like the the older Kong, but yeah, it just looks weird. The only thing I could say is I like the idea of the target first kind of thing. Yeah, I, I like the timed exclusives versus permanent exclusives because yeah. that opens the door also for them to potentially even put it on the NECA store if Just they, the if they need store, to. Exactly. Um, granted, with the the kaiju line and even the horror figures, those don't oh, seem yeah. to be hard to find at Targets. Um, so it's it's not like it's That's it feels fair. almost like they're 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 <laughs> testing the waters to see how it works and try to get like Target on board with it with these. 
Right. But I don't feel like it's needed. Um, cause even after I got excited and actually found the, the cool posterized version of, of King Kong mm-hmm. at Walmart, uh, like a week later I found it at target too. So it was like, Oh, well I guess that wasn't yeah that like, hard that, to do. Like, yeah. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I doubt they'll ever do that with any of the hard to find lines. Yeah. Like, wink. I, I would assume <laughs> not at the rate things are going. Uh, uh, my my terrible segue initially when I mentioned Friday the Fourteenth. Yeah, I, was, it hit me after I read the first part of the story. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit, yeah, I just I was whew. trying to just make a, an awful bad segue. <laughs> I, I mean, in, in your defense, it was a great segue. I was just so much in my head, ready to insult NECA on their shitty fucking pre-order <laughs> skills, um, that I <laughs> completely like, was oblivious and was just like, yeah, it's Friday the Fourteenth tomorrow cool um <laughs> don't get the fucking reason you're mentioning that uh but yeah i, I was just so so intent on insulting neca that i just couldn't it's get out my own way on that one sometimes um, deserve it. <laughs> yeah i mean don't get me wrong neca has improved they with some That's things true. the fact that they do like the week-long pre-orders and stuff um for the made to order items it's just one of those things where it's like it, it almost feels like it's too little too late because most of these things you've either given up on or you paid ebay prices or you were lucky enough to find one like i can't imagine there's that many people who are like yes finally i i'm able to get this figure that's been out for almost a fucking year i've already cried and had sleepless nights yeah (laughs) i've I've already sat in the shower like spider-man crying and so no one can see the tears um for hours on end about this and and now you fucking do it (laughs) But I guess we could talk about the the, the Jason. But the with this saying, this is it's pretty rad. Of course, these have all been pretty awesome. Mm. It just reminds me of how long they've been making like Jason figures. Because I just remember going in like Toys R Us and seeing the oh, like yeah. the NES version mm-hmm. of it. I'm like, God, it's been so many years. <laughs> but but good on them. I wonder if there's someone out here that just has all of them. I'd love to see. Right, see that kind of collection. especially because they've done like the bigger sets that come with the dock and like yeah. <laughs> all the little like diorama pieces. Um, they've done so much with this. I think one thing that intrigues me is I, I guess this means that the lawsuit over the rights to it is over. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. The fact that this is coming out, like <laughs> it's just it was just second thought of nature, like oh yeah, NECA, yeah, of course, if they're making yeah. it, so yeah, that, that is true, yeah, because it was what six maybe six months to a year ago they put out that notice saying hey the friday the 13th yeah. line is on hiatus until further notice due to this blah blah, blah. and now here we are and he's uh, like, this one's coming out and yeah. i'm just like oh well I, maybe it's over maybe they were like fuck it we don't care um they're not I, paying attention release it <laughs> yeah it's one of those things where like they're they're never gonna end this thing so we might as well get our money and just yeah deal with it when we have to cross that bridge kind of thing interesting enough this could be the last one, so maybe you should jump on it. True. Maybe it was one of those things where they already had it made, but they couldn't release it. And then part of the lawsuit made it so they could release it, but now they're going to lose it or something. I don't know. Yeah. And, um, all sorts of uh, different things there to, to unpack. Interesting. So curious to see how that unfolds, but we're going to keep the ball rolling with Hasbro. They have announced three new MCU Infinity Saga Marvel Legends figures. We are getting a movie Odin. Followed by an endgame Iron Man vs. Thanos 2 pack. Odin is $26.99, shipping in August, and Iron Man vs. Thanos 2 pack is $62.99, shipping in August as well. Both are available on Entertainment Earth. Links will be in the description below. Odin looks fucking cool. Yeah. I, I, f- I feel like Iron Man Thanos could have been better, though. Yeah. I mean, I know they. we've already gotten these right oh yeah we've already the, gotten like, both individual. these figures separately okay um, they're just doing the infinity like war saga yeah so this one Iron there are man. some new pieces um for instance i don't believe that we have a tony beat up head okay um we don't think we have a tony snap like hand with the okay. with the stones in it uh-huh. um thanos he has i don't know if they've done one that has the iron man gauntlet on or not um they have done ones with the normal gauntlet though yeah and then thanos also has a new head sculpt that's supposed to be like him like dissipating into dust um i 
it's interesting it's just hard for me because i've seen like so many like cool photos mm-hmm. of like these figures from like other lines so seeing the marvel legends ones and like these are serviceable and honestly like a cool two pack together you said it was like 60 bucks or so yeah, 62.99 not terrible for like someone like me that i haven't i've missed out on that so it's a cool way to jump in and if you're gonna get some you know something for the movie like that shelf representation mm-hmm. that i always talk about why not have this you know set or like this scene sort of things so that, that makes sense but anyway. yeah i i mean personally i i probably would have bought this set with one change to it if they would have made it so iron man his arm and like part of his shoulder was damaged like oh, yeah. it is when he's because when he does the snap the the stones have destroyed the armor going up through like his face and, yeah. and stuff so i feel like the fact that we didn't get that and it's literally just plain iron man which i get it because it comes with the normal iron man head and stuff and the idea yeah. is that way you don't it's have to use it figure. but that figure already exists yeah the mcu figures rarely become worth like a bunch of money on ebay to the point where you can't go back and get it mm-hmm. um so i just feel like this is a scenario where that would have been great and that would have got me to buy it because i've been like sweet i can have a battle damage tony doing the snap on my shelf mm-hmm. and i don't have to spend the 80 dollars or whatever on like figure arts or moffex or whoever yeah. um and then i could have thanos sitting there you know casually being like oh shit you got me um, with his face <laughs> yeah. dusting away um because that, that i mean while it's not perfect there's not really an easy way to make like a like disintegrating yeah. effect on a sculpt but i feel like they did a good job with it until you pointed it out initially i thought it was just his face was burned from him <laughs> snapping and, and like that's just where it went in my head i was like oh yeah that makes sense but like yeah that makes way more <laughs> that's yeah. a better explanation of it. but yeah i mean they did what they could do what are they gonna it would be impossible to do that yeah so. but that would have been the only thing that i would have really improved was just make tony more battle damaged but uh yeah and that's that's a fair request. yeah odin they did pretty good on though like i feel like he, yeah. he they did a great job with capturing his likeness and even like the, the costume and stuff so it's exciting for if you're an mcu collector to finally be able to get a good version of him to put on your shelf with thor and loki yeah i mean that's something i have to shout out to like i guess maybe not a hundred percent of the time but for like we'll give a percentage out there we'll put like 95 percent of the time the marvel legends like the line Mm -hmm. the figures are pretty spot on especially when it's like based off of the movie like the Mm -hmm. mcu universe they're like incredibly close likeness which is kind of crazy i assume you're talking about the face right yeah like the face i was like like, a lot of times people complain because they have to go off concept art they don't get to go off the movie oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, i'm talking about like the the actor actual face and yeah it's just kind of Mind blowing and like a twenty six dollar twenty dollar, which we didn't mention how the prices kind of went up a little bit. Yeah, because for... uh, the legends are going up, I think, to twenty two, and then yeah. they're doing these like special figures that are going up to twenty six. Um, yeah. I mean, granted, bad, knowing right? Walmart, it won't matter because Walmart fucking charges below retail on on all of them anyway half the time. Uh, up in the school of America. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as far as like the likenesses, I keep seeing Katie from. Uh, from shang chi at target yeah. and they've got aquafina down like it, it's it, mind it, blowing i'm just like damn that figure yeah. looks like great either she has a very simple face or <laughs> don't tell her that and it well i mean that's not a, necessarily a bad thing like you know some people have complexities to their face where so they look a little weird you know? i mean i'm just gonna say it. we've got a tweet now that we can use to try to get some some views on the show <laughs> just gonna put out this week on the show jamar says that aquafina is simple uh, <laughs> God, I'm gonna get canceled, and I'm not even like live. I don't know what's the opposite of canceled. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Greenlit? Import- I mean, important? Is that where we're going with this? Yeah, <laughs> we're not important, so we can't get canceled. No, I was like a TV show gets canceled, but the opposite of that is it gets greenlit. You know, that's yeah, I true. Talking. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> moving on from poor Akafina getting insulted by Jamar. Uh, <laughs> Mattel had a pretty big week for Motu fans. First, we got Masters of the Universe Wind Raider from the Origins line, which is available on Entertainment Earth for $30.99, shipping in July. Link will be in the description below. They also announced their PowerCon 2021 uh, exclusives. 
all our figures for the Origins line. There's the Horde multi-pack of Blue-Skinned Hordok, Dark Grizzlore, Crimson Horde Trooper, and Shadow Horde Trooper. Followed by a Faker and Duplicate 2-pack. And then a Secrets of Grayskull accessory pack. The multi-pack is going to be $150, the Faker 2-pack is $60, and the accessory pack is $30. No info on how to order these just yet though, so stay tuned for that. But that's not all. After getting blurry images last week, we have proper solicitations of the Motu Revelations line. There are new images of He-Man, Skeletor, Evil Lin, Mossman, Skelegod, and even Battlecat. These will be exclusive to Walmart this summer. The base figures are $24.99, Skelegod is supposed to be $29.99, and Battlecat is $39.99. Mattel also announced their new playback initiative to attempt to recycle old toys and reduce the amount of impact their toy production has on the environment with the goal to have their new toys 100% made from recycled materials by 2030. I mostly wanted to touch on this because I see a lot of collectors in the Facebook groups saying, why should I give them their toy old toys to be made in new ones that I have to pay full price for? And this has nothing to do with the collectibles lines. This is 100% focused more on their children's toys. So you have the stuff like Mega Bloks, Barbie, Fisher Price, even like old Uno decks. This is the kind of stuff that they are trying to get sent back to them that kids aren't playing with so they can recycle them and make them into new toys for new kids to play with. And in, instead, I mean, they're, they're not asking you to give back your He-Man. Like, Jesus Christ, people. Come on now. I love the excerpt at the end uh, because initially I was like, the fuck? You want me to give me these toys back? Like, fuck you. And then you explained it. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Um, that makes sense. I'm fully on board with the recyclable thing. Like, come on. I mean, sometimes I, I think people hold on to things for sentimental reasons, which is perfectly fair. I mean, that's my entire basement. <laughs> so I, I totally get that. But, like, yeah, I mean, kids' toys, they lose interest very fast. Oh, yeah. So like, it that, that's a cool thing. And I... I actually kind of like this. Um, I have my thoughts on <laughs> recyclable things and shit like that, but that's neither here nor there. So <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. But yeah, you, it's a good thing to clarify. Like they're not asking you to give you give them your toys off your shelf. Yeah, no, they're not saying like, hey, if you want a new He-Man figure, you better fucking give us that old one. Like, <laughs> and the thing is, I feel like ninety percent of these comments are just like what your scenario was. Yeah, they didn't. They, they see the headline. They don't read the article, and they're like, "Fuck you, Mattel! You're not taking my He-Man or Skeletor." Yeah. And it's, it's like, calm the fuck down. No one's trying to take your fucking collectibles from you. Right. Um, I gotta imagine landfills are full. Oh yeah. Of Barbies with broken arms and no heads. And yeah, shit I've like been that. fucking shaved half their heads, looking like <laughs> fucking <laughs> Cynthia from the Rugrats. Like, <laughs> so that makes sense yeah especially like for that kind of stuff 100 percent makes sense because it's stuff that like you can't even like do that as a hand-me-down because no kid wants to fucking have i don't know what's going oh yeah on. you are frozen on mine but you're talking so i've got you there there you are um <laughs> it's so weird <laughs> uh but yeah like it's one of those things i can't imagine a little kid's gonna be like yeah i'm super excited to play with this ugly ass old barbie that my big sister had and shaved and fucking painted on yeah. like yeah, for most kids, little kids aren't you know don't care at first, but once they get to a certain age, there they're just like, eh. So why yeah. not send it back? You know, so you know help help save the planet a little bit. Not that it matters, we're all gonna die eventually anyway. Um, <laughs> That's fair. And with uh, that note, can I please <laughs> just talk about how <laughs> horrifying and awesome at the same time this Grizzler? <laughs> Figure. <laughs> oh my god, god, the weird Wookiee looking thing. <laughs> the entire time I apologize because I was laughing while you were trying to read everything else. When I saw the photo, I was like, what the fuck? It's so awesome, but also terrifying. He, he looks like he went he like came to life like in Toy Story, went and shaved all the trolls and like just glued their hair to his body. <laughs> 
Oh my god, it's legitimately a Wookiee with like a straightened pern. <laughs> like it's so crazy looking. But yeah, it's that's funny. It also makes me realize more that like He Man is such like an old school like mm-hmm. this only exists. This TV show exists because of acid. <laughs> and that was me, like for sure, man. Like you see some of the stuff and it makes a lot of sense, but also very cool. Yeah, I just think it's funny that Mattel was like, all right, this is the week that that, that silly bald man that uh, shows up every now and then wasn't on. Oh, yeah. Let's go and drop all the Motu news. Because um, all he got was blurry-ass inbox images of four yeah. of those Revelation figures. And this week we get solicitations of them plus two others we, we kind of knew about but hadn't really seen. And right. then also the PowerCon stuff. So <laughs> I, I feel like that's just that's just, that's just cruelty on Mattel's <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and all my, I mean, my contribution to this conversation is LSD. So I, I, yeah. I mean, I, you're not wrong. It makes sense. I mean, hell, we've got Kevin Smith making a the. I'm pretty sure the anime that he's doing is the Revelations line. So that's just that's just fueled by pot. So yeah, <laughs> high one way or another. Exactly. <laughs> um, I will say I saw some stills from that new anime that they're doing for He Man, and it looks pretty sweet. So maybe I'll finally give it a chance. Yeah, and then have a reason to buy He-Man. Oh, figures. I'm not gonna buy He-Man figures at all. But I'll at oh, least be like, it's that. either it's either gonna be one of those things where I'm like, this is really fucking cool, or I'm be like, it looks pretty, still don't have any interest in it. <laughs> um, which is what I think is gonna happen because I just I feel like it's gonna take a lot to give He-Man like a compelling story for someone who didn't grow up with it. That's fair, but I have I I've been surprised in many other. Oh yeah, there's there's other things I've watched and I was like, did not expect it like that. Right. Um, so we'll see. I'll, I'll keep an open mind, I guess. Uh, Especially if you love anime, right? Oh yeah. And look at you softballing that one. Too, I, tried. I, missed, I missed the last one. So you had to <laughs> softball that one. Yeah. Speaking of anime, uh, <laughs> one, one, an anime I truly do love, uh, Tomashi yeah. nations announced the new SH figure. It's dragon ball GT super saiyan Four Goku. Goku's price has varied from site to site from around like $50 to $60 shipping in October. While he is currently sold out across most sites, Tomashi Nations has come out and said he is a mass release and will be widely available at launch. Um, I'm excited as fuck. I don't care what the Dragon Ball community says about GT. I loved it. I I watched it late night Toonami all through, I think I was in middle school, maybe even high school. I can't remember at what time frame it like aired in, in mm-hmm. the States. It, it, it's rough. There's some story aspects that are just plain bad, but there's a lot of good there, and I fucking love it. And the fact that we're getting Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, I about flipped my table with how hard I got. <laughs> I imagine so. I not like didn't didn't watch dragon ball gt i'm assuming i'm missing out just since you're you know very (laughs) emotional speech and (laughs) description about your table but um it looks rad as hell right i don't i don't know what's up with the pink arms or anything but i mean that's dragon ball z so it looks cool so the idea is with super saiyan 4 um they have to regrow their tail to be able to access it and it's them basically like kind of combining Super Saiyan with the Great Ape idea. Mm, racing, Not yeah. sure why the fur ended up being pink. That part never made sense to me. But I'm like, fuck it. It looks cool as shit. It and looks it pops. Dope as fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's pink. Because um, it looks dope. <laughs> yeah. Like they, there's an entire like story arc where like Goku has to go to other world to have his tail pulled out of his ass by the, the Supreme Kai and Elder Kai. And then... Uh, he comes back and then he turns into a giant golden version of the great ape and and then like he gain, regains controller and this is what he turns into so like it's 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 you want to talk about acid trips this is totally yeah, on acid <laughs> it sounds like it i mean if i didn't have too much tv to watch as it is i'd probably check this out so that sounds sounds interesting yeah it's it's, it's a wild ride it, the first season is is a little shaky because it's all about them like going through the galaxy and trying to f- refind the Dragon Balls because they got broken and now they're Dark Star, but they got scared through the galaxy instead of the Earth, which didn't make sense. But hey, it is what it is, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, but yeah, enough about me gushing about Goku. Uh, on to uh, this. This story is a little hard to to really s- let sink in, but we're gonna talk about it anyway. 
Target has nixed trading card sales in stores after multiple insane reports of collectors and scalpers crossing the line. From cards being stolen, customers attacking other customers over cards, and even the vendors being followed home by insane collectors, Target has posted notice in the card section stating to ensure safety of our guests and team members effective May 14th, the MLB, NFL, NBA, and Pokemon cards will no longer be sold in stores until further notice. What the fuck, guys? Like, You can't have nice shit, man. That's pretty much what this boils this down to. I mean, <laughs> when I first like started seeing this stuff pop up, I'm like, oh, this this has got to be about the NECA stuff, right? This is 100% going to be NECA collectors have finally broken the... <laughs> <laughs> broken the camel's back um aggressively and now we're not gonna have things anymore but no it's it's trading cards of all things little cardboard yeah but i mean the market is like really oh, yeah. really really hot so i mean it's not surprising um uh, as a youth i do recall hearing many stories of me collecting other things like gym shoes and you know kids getting killed over like jordan and stuff like that and they're not killed or but robbed and shit like that, you know. Up. So it makes sense that society were just awful in general. So is it society if, or is it just us Americans? Because I feel like it's just us Americans, right? Probably. probably. I'll give. I'll throw. I can't imagine on that. I can't imagine going to Japan and seeing a bunch of Japanese dudes fighting over some fucking cards. That's fair. That's fair. Like but even I'm Pokemon sure cards, as big as it is over there, I can't, I, can't, I can't imagine seeing a bunch of a weeby like Japanese guys <laughs> and, and girls standing outside the card shop being like, "No, that's my Charizard, you bitch!" Like, <laughs> it's fair. It's fair. It is. It's just an awful, awful thing that like for a retailer to have to be like, "Look, we can't sell them anymore." Yeah, that's insane to me. Like, that's insane. And Target pretty much embraces everything. And they were like, you guys are just too wild. Like, we yeah. got to get you out of our fucking store. The only thing Target doesn't <laughs> embrace is that they'll still be out body shame men and not, you know, have models that, that have to wear shirts true. when they go swimming. But beyond that, like... This is where you think it stands, Target? <laughs> yeah. People chasing each other over cards, but you won't help body images for adults. <laughs> adult, adult men. <laughs> but get right. <laughs> it just came out weird to say adult men. <laughs> But yeah, I, I don't want to like too much joke about this because it is yeah. like it, it's, it's a problem. Awful. Like, yeah. it, I've already like I've heard and seen stories of shit like this happening with toys, Ooh. so like it doesn't surprise me that it's happened with yeah. these, especially with how crazy the market's gotten. Like the fact that if you want to get a card graded now, you have to wait like eight to twelve months to get it back because of how backed up the yeah. the card grading company is. Like that's insane to me, and it's just like that's awful. Why? The other thing I'll say about this is I love the fact that they're doing this because I would imagine that like, well, you mentioned like the vendors, but also just like the regular target employees probably hated doing this. Oh, so yeah. like, that's awesome that, you know, you're kind of listening to your employees. It probably took a long time for that to happen. But yeah. Yeah. It's, I it's mean, I, I was looking when I was looking into this, I read an article where they interviewed a employee at Target mm -hmm. and he essentially like came out and said he's like, Listen, I get it. I'm a collector. I collect other things too. Like, you know, you always want to make sure you get stuff. But these card collectors literally were nothing but an inconvenience between the fact that they constantly would cause problems. They'd be lined up, like, breathing down the vendor's neck while they're trying to put the cards oh, wow. out. They're blocking most of the front lanes because most of the card sections are up yeah, there by that there. to the point where other customers have to figure out how to get around them. <laughs> um and usually they're there with like because they always would bring like their wife or their kids so that way they oh, could yeah, yeah. ring out multiple times to get more since they limited things to like one per person um and usually like the wives and the children didn't want to be there so they were you know the kids were always loud and fucking losing their yeah. shit so like the, the target employees seem to be like finally get these fucks yeah, out of our store of um <laughs> Take I'm, that shit to Walmart, dude. I'm just curious what like companies like Tops, because I think they're the ones who do most of these. Oh yeah. If they are going to come out and make a statement or anything, or like what's going to happen with that? Because I feel like Pokemon's not going to be affected because it's everywhere. Yeah. Um, I feel like sports cards, those ones, they they might uh, they might have to do something because I feel like that's that's a little more uh, of a different story. I don't fully understand it, but it has been a huge push with Tops to try and get like the NFT stuff down. So maybe that's just like, hey, 
this is your reason to start doing them digital versus you know the oh card I, know. I could not yeah. imagine di- just not you go from d- buying cardboard to buying a fucking picture on your computer and hey, it, it's like, worth, worth money i guess in the future i don't oh, know man. but yeah Living that's 20 um... 2047 there <laughs> and it's disheartening to hear this but also like not surprising in the worst way yeah if that makes sense so but yeah, I, I guess that is a good question. Where are they going to go to buy cards now? I guess. I mean, I, I, Walmart there. hasn't has a, can't yeah, said anything, Walmart. but also Walmart seems to never really have anything. Um, yeah. So it's kind of like a. Yeah, like, whatever. yeah, we don't have an issue with um, this. We just never stock them. <laughs> and card shops are running short because, like, in the articles I read, there was even like reports where, like, card shop owners would be going there to try to buy the like oh, brick um, brick boxes of them to yeah. take to their store to sell because they just didn't have any left. Um, and also to make some Crazy. extra money because they're worth more. Um, so it's, it's like, yeah, it, I guess maybe target will put them online, but I feel like at this point targets, just like, no shame on no, you for- sit in the fucking corner. You'll yeah, get your cardboard. You, when we tell you, you can get your cardboard. You, lost your- um, <laughs> you know, they're like more like paper, like big cardstock paper. I mean, I'm yeah, just being technical. I, I know but- <laughs> But the just joke was always because like I used to play magic and stuff, and the joke was always like, "Oh, you collect cardboard, aren't you cool?" Like people uh, make fun of you, so, so it's it was just the the generic go to. Right. I know. That I mean, the last thing I have to person. say about this is I hope that these people just don't turn to NECA. <laughs> I feel I feel <laughs> like, like I feel like if you're scalping thing, the trading it's... cards, which are limited one to person, you're probably immediately after that going back to the NECA section and trying to find the turtles to sell to. Like, so maybe it'll make things easier. <laughs> uh, maybe they, they won't be there every friday at least <laughs> oh god uh closing out the news though with some much cheerier stuff diamond select has announced their san diego comic-con 2021 exclusives through the px previews set and there are the muppets bunsen and beaker lab accident two pack limited to three thousand pieces for twenty nine ninety nine, currently sold out on e retailers. There is a Cobra Kai three pack that we actually saw a few weeks back of Johnny, Daniel San, and Crease, limited to four thousand pieces for seventy four ninety nine. That is still currently up on Big Bad Toy Store. Last I checked, the Crow Deluxe figure limited to five thousand pieces for thirty nine ninety nine is currently sold out on all e retailers. Uh, then we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas Deluxe Jack Skellington box set, limited to 3,000 pieces for $119.99. That is still available on, I believe, Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store. And then there's the Lord of the Rings Invisa Frodo and Gollum 2-pack, limited to 4,000 pieces for $49.99, also still available. And Retro Tron Translucent 3-pack of Tron, Flynn, and Sark, limited to 3,000 pieces for $79.99. That one is currently sold out on all retailers. These will all be shipping in August. There will be a link below for whatever is still available on Entertainment Earth. Um, <laughs> we talked about this a little bit before the show. I, I'm, I'm kind of into this, but kind of not. I like the idea of you know pre-order now, and then it shows up around when the con would be happening. But yeah. I don't like the fact that it was just so like, bam. It and is, if you, you got it, you got it, you didn't, you get it. Um, at least when it's July and it's, you know, Comic Con week, you're expecting to be sitting there at your computer waiting for something to go up and get announced. This felt like it was just so out out of left field that it I like there's some stuff I missed out on I would have grabbed. I did luck out and the Cobra Kai three pack looks significantly better in these pictures. Yeah. So I did. I did get that one on a big bad, um, but like I kind of, I was kind of interested in the Bunsen and Beaker just because I thought it was kind of cute, and then I, I realistically I wanted the deluxe crow just for the chair. Okay, um, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's great to see these kind of things going online. But mm-hmm. with the current climate of collecting where like people are just buying shit up and just to sell or trade and it almost seems like it's borderline worse because of it. Yeah, I I agree. You pretty much hit the like no right on the head. It's awesome 
that idea of like, cool, got this free order in, got it. And then once Comic Con hits, you're like, cool, I got my, you know, it's mm-hmm. like you're there or I kind of went to the con. But yeah, you got to have some kind of lead up, you know, at least to kind of get people that heads up. Mm-hmm. But well, especially then with... again, I guess that they wanted to kind of keep that exclusivity drop but kind of the, thing, the, all but... of them are still exclusive though because they're all limited in how many they're being made so if you've well, already got those set numbers you could still yeah. those are still gonna be ordered regardless so at that i mean point, more then... like exclusive drop of like boom it's available find it out i mean it sucks but that's mm-hmm. kind of like the, the hot drop is you know a trendy thing of like hey it's on sale go get it now yeah which Does i mean diamond select need to be doing that no, no. but um, yeah. <laughs> i will say diamond did do like a four day like announce like thing mm. throughout the week oh leading up to um, like a day one day two and each one was a different thing that went up um it's one of those things though if you came late to the party and didn't know they were doing it it sucks to suck yeah but yeah, with all these being set numbers, they're ordering those numbers regardless of what pre-orders do. So at that point, why not hold off until the week of Comic-Con? Mm-hmm. And then be like, hey, these are going up. Get them. And yeah. then it's like, you're, you're at least expecting it. You're you're focusing on the world of the toy news because it's Comic-Con versus right. it, Just doing it's, your it's fucking day. May. What's like, granted, this still, sh- this still ran over an hour there wasn't a lot of news. It was mostly just us yeah. talking about talking about it, the news more so than how much news there was. What it is. Yeah. Um, so like, there's not a lot of eyes paying attention to it at that point. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, it makes sense. Some of these things, like you said, are, well, first I have to say <laughs> personal opinion. This seems kind of expensive for a lot of the things, oh, yeah. but I guess I get it because of like the exclusivity. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, the pricing is like, wait, what? For how much? Okay, cool. But yeah, I none of these seem like show stopping kind of things where they couldn't have built up a little bit of hype to it. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I guess it's kind of tricky either way. Because I like both sides of the mm-hmm. argument. So I, I can't really Yeah, I mean the beaker. Like, Right with the little, the, like the scorch That's marks awesome. from the lab accident, like it's it's kind of adorable. It would have been it would have been cute to have. Um, but yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I feel like none of these are really like, bam! Oh my god, I have to have that. Like the only one that like yeah. really I was like, okay, I really want was the Cobra Kai three pack. We already saw it, but the time yeah. it looked like dog shit. So the fact right. like, grand, Larusso still looks a little rough. At least Johnny and Crease, <laughs> like they got the likenesses pretty down. Um, yeah. And, and and I agree, the prices are a little high, but that's usually what they do with the con-exclusive stuff anyway. Yeah, um, most of these figures, they sold them separately, depending on the accessories, probably be around 25 to 30 bucks. Uh, that's right. how I at least justified the three-pack, was because it's with it being 75 Okay, it's 25 bucks a piece. a piece. I have to assume they're going to come with alternate hands. If they don't, okay, you, you got me. You got me, Diamond. <laughs> you, you got, got me, me good. this time. <laughs> you got me good. This is why I don't collect your shit. <laughs> got me good um so we'll have to wait and see because they most of the stuff do, doesn't have any real like pictures to show it off like i mean there's yeah. some stuff like the jack skellington pack you get to see all of the cool shit that comes with that with like the tree and the little yeah. like, toys and stuff um that looks fucking cool as hell i don't think i don't really know what accessories they do for the retro tron pack um all i know is that they look like they'd be delicious candies <laughs> it um, does look like candy. It looks tasty. Like I'm like you've got you've got fucking cherry, grape, and uh, what's the blue one? Blue raspberry. Blue, yeah, blue raspberry. Yeah. Um, so like, uh, mm. explain. It should, been, it should have been Tron cross Jolly Ranger. <laughs> like, I would have been into it. The, and then instead of making it so it's actually candy, they could have made them scented to smell Ooh. like the Jolly Ranchers. That's good. I mean, kids have a problem putting stuff in their mouth anyway. So let's, I would assume that. that no kid Granted, is, is, spending, the 90s. is spending $120 on, or no, that was not $120. Where was it? No, $80 it was on uh, on Tron figures. That's I mean, they probably haven't even seen. <laughs> well, at least this version, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Which you got to also appreciate the that Frodo is mystery flavor yeah he's got yeah, mystery <laughs> flavor he's got the airhead mystery flavor i like it <laughs> that's awesome uh, oh shit. maybe i should have got some of these pre-orders in i want some candy now <laughs> yeah i mean 
I'm not gonna lie, the the Tron three pack is cool, but I feel like yeah. I'd rather have the normal versions than those. Those didn't really like they don't have any significance to the movie. Very true. Um, <laughs> Very true. Which is good because that's what exclusives should be. They shouldn't be something that you need for your collection. They should be something that's like that's a fucking cool version of that. Yeah, I agree with you. In this, I guess it, it depends on the property. Like, because some things you can get like deep cuts in mm-hmm. the property to make it like an exclusive. So it's I kind of need this, but I really don't. Yeah. Um, the variant thing could be overdone, and it almost seems like a cheap way out. Like, not saying that this is a situation, but mm-hmm. sometimes I don't like variants because it's like, hey, yeah, it's the same figure, but we. I'm, <laughs> I'm not calling on McFarlane. I'm just saying we painted it gold. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, that's not, <laughs> not really. Not calling on McFarlane. I feel like shots are fired. Come on now. No, no. I just that was the, literally the first thing that came to my mind. But it's not like, I don't know. Like, oh, we added sparkle metallic paint in the this one here, and now this is a hundred dollars, or whereas the first figure was forty mm. bucks, or you know, like I don't like that. I like when you like actually feel like the makers are like a fan of this property. So yeah. they're doing cool specific stuff. So I agree. I, like, I, I feel like if you're going to do it, do it like the, the beaker and Bunsen. Yeah. Yeah. Where like it's, that. It's a, it's, it's a, a variant where it's the same figure you already got. It's just got, you know, the scorch marks on it. So it's like, Oh, that's a cool version that I kind of want versus yeah. it being like, why do I want Jolly Rancher Tron? Right. Right. I kind of like that. Is and again, the beaker and Bunsen, that is an actual thing from the property yeah like yeah so i get it yeah it's, it's, it's a nice kind of like middle ground where it's not something that's like the old kenner batmans where there was like fucking ice skating batman and yeah. and heavy lifting batman like like wait wh- um when did that happen <laughs> like i uh, don't recall that but yeah it's at least like legitimate things that are in there that right you, that you don't need but if you really are a fan of that then you kind of do right I like it, but yeah. Well, that that's it for the news, which which means it's time for Turtle Watch twenty twenty one. Yeah, I don't know. It always feels so cheesy. Yeah, I mean, there's. <laughs> uh, let's be honest. At this point, there's not a whole lot of like. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop it, sir. Go ahead and read the news. So uh, I can <laughs> prove that you were wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> first off. NECA showed us official solicitations of the Target exclusive Mondo Gecko coming this summer. Then Super 7 is giving Turtle fans until June 1st to pre-order all four of the TMNT Ultimates Ninja Turtles. You can pre-order them individually for $45 each or all together for $180. These will be shipping out in quarter one, 2022. I'm glad you see, you see my typo too. <laughs> these will shit out in quarter one 2022 oh pass me um but then playmates made some interesting news with new order listings on toys on fire for toon turtles and tmnt cross cobra kai two packs the turtle two pack or toon turtle two packs are leo rocksteady mikey bebop Raf Triceraton and Donnie Shredder, while the Cobra Kai two packs will be Donnie and Johnny, Mikey and Danielson, Leo, Miguel, and Raf and Crease. No official word from Playmates yet, though they are listed for the end of this year. All right, all right, Mastro, what what's uh? Okay, so first seeing the Mondo Gecko, a hundred percent in, dude. It's so fucking dope, man. It's such an awesome figure that that's all you really need to be said about it. So that's one reason to be excited for Turtle Watch 2021. Another one is you mentioned in the chat the Cobra Cry two packs with the TMNT. I don't know what the fuck that's going to be. Kind of excited, but I'm also like weirdly excited because I also own like the, you know, wrestling cross TMNT figures that are weird, but I'm into it, whatever. But the real thing that I missed on this because we talked about the cobra cry the toon turtles from playmates Mm -hmm. and i had to look it up just to make sure i wasn't fucking going crazy but if this is like a remake of the playmates or not even a remake but just kind of like a re-release of the toon turtles from the obviously you know original playmates line i might be back in 
Normally oh, yeah. I give Playmate a lot of shit, but <laughs> those are some of the coolest ones from like the Playmates line. So those are those are really cool. So if that is legit and um I didn't already somehow miss these or whatever fucking happens because somehow Playmate's gonna make this a shitty situation for They're me. They're gonna be an exclusive for three hundred dollars. <laughs> They're gonna be an exclusive That's at, gonna be exclusive like, everywhere. One Walmart in Ohio or in no in the in, country. In Arkansas. <laughs> yeah. So I know there's gonna be a way that they fuck this up. So that is still pretty exciting though. Cause those are I mean, you you don't have like the attachments to like the well no, you I do because those so are the ones different. I had was I had the right, two right, right. ones, yeah. I was gonna say it was the the line that you're more you know yeah has that have that affection for. So that could be really cool. We just need to see pictures because we're right now in a very dangerous territory. My hype levels are high and we could see these. And they, if, if it's the fucking same four turtle modes that we have and it just like put some metallic paint on it. I promise you, you do not want to miss that episode of Turtle. Watch I, I can't wait for that episode because I, I'm, I'm calling it now that it's happening. We're going to get those <laughs> shitty original four turtles. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna have brighter green they're all gonna be the same shade of green and they're gonna have pupils so that way they look like the cartoon version um and that's it that's gonna be the only differences i'm calling it if now. that is i promise you we would have to, we're just gonna have to pull turtle watch 2021 to a separate episode because i just need that's time gonna be hour to, itself i need time to scream that's basically it um but yeah and then on top of that it's still cool super seven's like hey you missed out on these lines it's a great gesture that they're doing. This is similar to NECA because we did give them a praise, but also shit on them at the same time mm -hmm. about like, yeah, at this point, though, I've already spent the money on the ones yeah. like to pay more. Like I had to spend an extra twenty five dollars to to get raft because I missed out. So, you know, it is what it is. But I do like that this is happening. Maybe if the companies would just say, hey, if you didn't get it, calm down. We're going to do it later. Yeah. So people wouldn't freak out and spend more money on things unnecessarily. I just think these companies don't have the foresight. That's what I, That's I, true. I, I honestly feel like they just don't think that far ahead. They're so concerned with getting it out and, you know, making the money now and doing this and that, that they don't think this is going to fly off the shelves. This mm -hmm. is going to become hard to get. And it's going to mostly end up on eBay where people are going to pay 30, 40, 50 dollars more than retail. And I, I don't think it's out of a malicious way of being just mm -hmm. ignorant. I think it's more oh. so just they don't want to get too up in their own shit and be like, we're so fucking good. These are going to sell out. So we yeah, better yeah, fucking warn right. people. I think it's well, honestly just they don't they don't want to think, yeah, these are going to sell out. And then when they don't get disappointed kind of situation. Yeah, I, I guess maybe like not so much like, oh, this is going to sell out, but just being like. Hey, what I would love is just for one of these companies like NECA, Super 7. It doesn't even have to be them. It could be Vopex or any of these companies out here. Mesco, for example, to just make a stance and be like, hey, we really want to kind of combat like the third party market of people scalping these figures. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a commitment to say when we release something that's exclusive, if you miss out on it, if it if it's a really hot item We'll, we'll try our best to make a re-release of that mm -hmm. so that may not be two months away three months away it could be six months later but just don't be so upset like don't 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 to FOMO. yeah don't don't go on ebay and spend the extra money yeah um, which I mean, super seven has done that. yeah they have oh yeah they have they, so just they, they came out when they started doing the uh when they did the first re-release of wave one of the turtles and also with yeah. the was it uh the fucking Thundercats wave one as yes, well. They do, they do. Yeah, that's um, true. Because they, they basically came out and like, listen, we hear you. It's a problem. Our goal is going to be to eliminate that problem. Our goal is to try to get these in the hands of collectors so that you don't have to right. spend absurd amount of money on a third mar party market. Um, so Super 7, they're on top of it. They're, they're, gonna, they're trying. Um, Mezco, they, they've at least acknowledged the problem to the point where they're like, hey, hit that wait list because if we get enough of those, we'll order more while it's still being made and try to fill more of those. So you don't have to go to eBay um, rather than do re-releases, which I understand. And also, you know, they seem to rather than do re-releases, they rather do an improved version of the figure down the line. Like they did with Wolverine and That's Superman. Fair. It pisses off the people who originally got to, <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's, um, it's fair. I'm cool with that. I'm just super curious about this Cobra Kai line. 
because yeah. I mean it's Playmates, so my expectations were super low. Uh, I'm I'm literally <laughs> expecting some like old recycled He-Man figures and karate outfits, um, <laughs> matched up with these turtles, um, and that like that's it's just so I guess it's so weird, but not really because we've gotten Ghostbusters, like you know across TMT, but we did that could have technically been based off of, like the comic but not mm-hmm. it wasn't so but here's all. the thing though these are two packs these aren't the these aren't the mashups these aren't yeah these donnie are... as egon these are two packs you're getting johnny right, lawrence getting the... with fucking donatello that makes more sense yeah at least according to the listing it could maybe the yeah. listing's wrong and it's not a two pack and it is maybe just a mashup donnie as johnny because that would make a lot of sense that wouldn't make sense at all in my opinion like just say by the name Donnie yeah Donnie. i just feel i feel like if anything it should be oh, i don't even know maybe leo because raf and crease that's that's fucking that, that's on point um, and mikey and dale son even i kind of well i guess we're going no, by cobra kai i, I feel now, like I'm daniel's of... son almost has to be leo Okay, I can kind of get with you. Leo's like you that, that that like arrogance where he like he's in his own shit. Like he's like, yeah. yeah, I am, I'm great, not realizing that he's an asshole sometimes, which is <laughs> essentially what Daniel San is for the entirety of Cobra Kai. Um, okay. So I feel like that 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 that'd be a good mashup. Um, well, everyone wants to see. Uh... <laughs> wait, never mind. No, yeah, no, never mind. I was like, wait, how is it straight up just Mikey? <laughs> my brain is not working (laughs) you're ready that's the tune turtle packs oh yeah that makes sense i i I, so i hope it is a mashup because then that would be a reason for me to be like okay this is weird as fuck i really don't know too much about cobra kai because everyone's been saying watch it and i've been kind of like i've seen a couple episodes so fucking good but if it's just here's a donnie and then here's the, hey, why why are we doing that that's ah, that's my question is why yeah. like it's such a random thing because cobra kai is it's 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 kind of grown in popularity but it's not like at turtle yeah. level popularity so for them to be able to be like hey we've got this license let's fucking do it like such a weird yeah. fucking thing for them to be into like the only thing they well, have I'm is karate in my fingers that it is uh a mashup like the wrestling like the wwe figures and the ghostbuster figures that we've had this past and you know and a nod to like the star trek figures and shit like that i hope it's a mashup and I, w- I will say if they do them at the quality of those i'll be a little more into it but they probably won't be those ones are typically no well the ghostbuster ones were smaller but the wwe ones were larger yeah those ones so, were like five inches probably. i think yeah um so I think yeah. actually no, they were the same size no, as the was... Ghostbusters. Were the Ghostbusters small? I don't think so, but I it's been a okay. long time since I've seen them in stores, so I don't know. But I thought they were about the same They're size. They're in my boxes. They're in boxes underneath my stairs, so I don't oh, I can't oh. recall. We see how much you like those mashups. <laughs> well, I don't have enough space. That was not the plan. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, if they do it right, I think I might be down with that, even though seeing Donnie in a blonde wig would be a little weird exactly but it would be fun enough to just buy it <laughs> maybe we'll see i've got my and cobra you... kai's pre-order, pre-ordered i don't know if i need these i can It'll have so i can have actual live there. action johnny lawrence kicking raf in the face um it's <laughs> fair oh, but yeah man. that is why turtle watch 2021 today is pretty awesome oh, i'm glad that's exciting for you yeah. man nothing this mondo does nothing it does, i just i have no attachment to him cool <laughs> like i just there's so many of these side characters i don't remember because i was so young when the the show was on the air yeah that like i remember more of batman because that continued throughout the 90s versus turtles was already pretty much done by the time i was old enough to watch it yeah well yeah that makes sense so i like, mean i'm not that much older than you michael i know but, but i'm just saying like <laughs> the the show like the show aired in what 89 yeah so that 80, was two yeah 89 that's two years before i was born so if they ran yeah, for one. what four years that means i would have been two so like yeah. I, I i mostly saw just reruns when they came on and like that was enough like, where i was like yeah the toys but i was a batman kid like it was batman made series and gargoyles 24 7 this is just a lot of rented v- vhs's from like the library and stuff of that makes sense 
Um, between that and also just the fact that like turtles continued they kept doing new things yeah so batman the United series was continuing running and then it went to batman beyond and then justice league where turtles by the time i was old enough to really get into it they moved on to like the live action next mutation and the crossover of the power rangers and all that so <laughs> so like that was a perfect time to get into the turtles. No wonder you don't. Yeah. No, I'm uh, that's enough for Turtle Watch, though. Let's move on to weekly purchases because let's face it, 90% of you haven't made it this far anyway. Um, <laughs> I, I do. I'm assuming you have some stuff. Yeah, I have one thing. Do you want to go first or last? It doesn't matter. I mean, I, I've only got a couple things, too, so it's, it's, it's up to you. Well, I'll go first. It's funny that we mentioned how you are trying to get this Twitter campaign about me dissing <laughs> Aquafina because my weekly purchase today for my shelf representation was Katie from the, you know, Marvel sting. And then it came along with this fucking thing that I have no clue what it is. So I guess I'll figure out when I watch the movie, it looks like a dog with no head and wings. So, I mean, that's a staple for Disney. They have to have a cute, like, cuddly thing for you to... This thing's not cute. This is borderline terrifying. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. But, man, it again, it's so crazy how much it looks like Aquafina. It's, right? it's very, very weird. Except for I'm pretty sure these hands are, like, man hands. Like, because they, they look very like muscular in in um, hasbro's defense i feel like they very rarely do women's hands very well um yeah i mean most of them like usually come with that the gene gray like woo, hands um That's fair. and nine times out of ten those hands are too big for most of the bodies because they try to make the women smaller to match like how they look in the comics and then they've got yeah. these giant hands and it's like that's kind of what's happening right now is her fists are quite large but yeah that's that's it i was kind of swayed i'm not gonna buy anything else from the movie just because I want to see the movie, but this one was like, oh, I fucking love Aquafina. Of course. So I'm gonna get this the figure. tweet is changed. Instead of her being simple, it is she now man Jamar <laughs> underscore Gaines says Aquafina has man hands. Uh, <laughs> We're going to make it, Jamar, one way or another. <laughs> There's no such I, thing I, as I, bad publicity. <laughs> oh, we froze again. That's a terrible time to freeze. It was such a great, great comedic timing. Oh, this oh is now you're coming back. You're, you're almost back. At you. I could hear you, Frozen. but you're not moving. I hope you come back. Are I'm you... not the one. I'm still here. You're the one that <laughs> needs to come know. back. You were frozen. I don't know why I keep doing this. Maybe Discord's like fucking up then. Maybe. I don't know. I can't see Discord because I just watch it through OBS. Um, yeah, it's so Yeah, weird. so we're going to start a feud of Aquafina and we're going to make it big. Oh, God. Not, not again. Let's. <laughs> No, uh, wait. I didn't oh, you, you froze that? for a second, and I was like, "God damn oh. it!" No, I just anyone other than Aquafina, she's a treasure. She is, she's but hilarious. I feel like she'd be she'd take it and she'd fucking run with it, and it'd be funny. That's fair. Maybe she'll autograph my figure. Yeah, there you go. She'll autograph her massive hands. <laughs> oh um, god! You what said that you, you said you only had the one. Um, yeah, that was good. Okay, uh, so after Nate talked about his getting charged. Big Red Toy Story charged me for one of mine and not the other, which pisses me off because the one that is hasn't come in yet is the one I wanted the most. Um, I got in my Kerr Canos Black Series, uh, okay. which I mean, granted he's labeled incorrectly as uh, Connor Jacks, but they at least confirmed that they fucked up. Um, so that came in. I'm still mad. Dark Darth Maul has not been charged yet. So fuck you, Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I, I want to say, because you mentioned that, and I think it, because I looked on, uh, through, like, Best Buy mm -hmm. to see, like, hey, is it, is it available, like, is it in stock or are they shipping it? But the uh, Crimson is shows available, like, you can order it and they'll, like, ship it out, but the Darth Maul still just says coming soon, so I wonder if it was more, like, you know. Oh, inventory. maybe Nate's full of shit. He claimed that they charged him for it, so. I mean, he could be getting this earlier, you know fucking bald prick <laughs> it's okay he doesn't watch the show anyway um <laughs> then i ordered an eight pack of these posable flight stands that are pretty much just bootlegs of the tamashi nations ones um on amazon i will say they're not, they're okay for the price 20 20 bucks for eight of them not bad only downside is it is some extremely acquired uh because i had to all the hinges 
I had to put them together and put the screw in them and the bolt. Mm. And I've only done it to three of them because I'm too lazy to go through the other five so far. Uh, Makes sense. I was waiting for you to, to get yours to, <laughs> to I, see I, how well they work. They're great for what they are. They're very yeah. clearly their bootleg because they, they don't move quite as smoothly as the actual Tomashi Nation ones. Um, but, I mean, if you're looking for a cheap alternative, aside from having to put them together, they're not bad by any means. Um, and then the last thing I purchased. So if you are not someone who's a part of the Sideshow Rewards Program, you need to be. Because the amount of free shit I get simply just for being in the code groups and getting codes to put in to get like anywhere from a dollar to five dollars. I pre-ordered the Super Saiyan 3 Goku for free. The reissue that's coming out later this year. And then still made back enough points after that to not even realize. I didn't even know they had these until like I was just dicking around because I couldn't find anything to buy on the site. Mm -hmm. But I got the Storm Collectibles Injustice Dark Side. Oh, that's cool. So this is a hundred dollar figure. I paid fifteen dollars because you have to pay the shipping. Wow. So like, I I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. I'm not gonna lie, the figure is really cool. But the main reason I bought it is because I wanted to do this. Um, so the Mezco Dark Side, his Omega Beam effect is pretty lackluster. Like it's mm -hmm. it's super subpar. So I took the ones from the new Dark Side, carved out the eye holes so it fit. And now he has these badass Omega Beams. <laughs> like, look at that shit. And they twist around so, like, I can fuck around and make them look in different directions and they pop out and shit. Like, oh, that was coming up. <laughs> like, this is fucking badass. Like, okay. now it just pops out. Um, so, I, cool. so I'm like, that, like, I've been wanting to do that for a long time. And, but I was like, I'm not paying a hundred fucking dollars for that dark side just to do that. But then I was like, I can get it for free. Okay, then, count me yeah. in on that. Like, that's a pretty cool. That's um, like a pretty cool way to kind of reward your spending. Exactly. Um, well, it's not even spending because I I'm just getting it all from the codes. Yeah. The true. amount like the amount of time I don't think I've actually paid for anything from them so far. That's that's actually really cool then. Right. I, like I got, um, I got the Dark Knight Returns of Batman back there from them for free with my rewards, because I pre-ordered that last year, I think. Mm. Then I got the Dark Side. I've gotten two Ultra Instinct Goku's. I've gotten a Figure Arts Dragon Ball Krillin, and then I've got the Super Saiyan three pre-ordered. So I've probably gotten just in the past like maybe two years or so, around four hundred dollars worth of stuff. Hmm so you didn't share the tip with your co-host that's um, for sure well there's also not a lot on there that I, like i feel like you'd be into because i think we've had this discussion i'd take that dark knight returns oh, i didn't know you were into it so because it was it, it wasn't free <laughs> well, those things you didn't you never showed interest in being like yeah. oh that'd be awesome i i can't justify spending 90 bucks kind of thing so i just never thought to mention it my bad now we know now we know i'll, I'll, I'll send you i'll send you Bob. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how to set it up after the show. Um, but that's it for weekly purchases as well. Uh, which <laughs> which that just means that that is it for this week's Modern Toy Fair news. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And also check us out over on the Reddit. Jamar, tell our wonderful fans when you plan to bring on Why Are You a Gamer? Because Nate claims, figuratively speaking, is coming back this month. So... <laughs> Uh, well then, I guess it's I'll, I'll get it get it together then, just so he doesn't beat me in any kind of way or for, shape or form. Um, the cool thing is that I could easily switch, to sh to sh <laughs> just hit the switch and have at least season two ready to go. Um, yeah, mainly it's just I don't get to use my computer much except for when I'm recording this podcast with you now. That's the one of the lovely joys of having a child. <laughs> oh, man, really, really selling us on it. <laughs> no, I mean it's well worth it in other ways. But yeah, so why are you a gamer is a podcast where I just want to simply figure out why do we play video games? It's very simple. Ask yourself that question now, and then you realize it's really hard to come up with that. So I have really cool one on one interview style sit downs with some great people in gaming. My first season has some of the most amazing guests. Um, yeah, Michael's me. also on there as well. Awesome. <laughs> but no it's it's awesome you can find it on any podcast platform of choice literally every podcast platform of choice including spotify which if you haven't heard spotify is pretty cool 
That's yeah. true. Maybe they'll they'll pick us up and pay us some money. Uh, <laughs> I'm also going to sign one of those big deals there. That's why I'm waiting for my contract to come from Spotify oh, before, I... before you start season two. Hold yeah. it hostage. I gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure to check out Why Are You a Gamer. Also, keep an eye out for when Nate relaunches, figuratively speaking, hopefully later this month. And as always, put in the comments below who you think's gonna win. Is it is Jamar or Nate gonna come back first? <laughs> right now, I Nate's at least got a solid plan because they're they're they've made plans to meet up in person. So the oh, the ball's boy. in your court, buddy. You better you better nut up or shut up on this one. Uh, <laughs> if you'd like to hear more of my lovely voice, though. You can hear it not only on Why You a Gamer, but also on the Gimmick Minute Wrestling Podcast, where me, Jason, and Kevin shoot the shit on what's going on in the wrestling world today. And if you'd like to support us here at uh, Modern Toy Fair, you can click the link below for tpublic.com, where I sell shirts with our logos on it and other designs that I cook up in the good old Photoshop machine. And as always, please make sure to like and subscribe for more weekly toy news and weekly toy reviews. But not only that, leave us a comment with what announcements you're excited for. And let's talk about it. Let's, let's you know, give me your theories on what the Cobra Kai figures are going to be. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. And if you enjoy our faces, make sure to hit the little bell to get notified when our videos go up. There will be some changes coming up at the end of the month for our weekly schedule. Mondays, we will have Modern Monday Reviews. Wednesdays, we will have Wednesday Weekly Purchases live on Twitch. Thursdays will be a Throwback Thursday review. And Friday will be your weekly Modern Toy Fair news. However, for some reason, if you just don't want to see our faces, you can listen to the audio-only version of Mon Toy Fair News available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and other podcast apps you know and love. So check that out, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.